everybody, this is Rao Hullcat back at you again with another cool video. Today, New Jersey, stormy weather. Stormy weather, we just had a nice big shower this weekend. Uh, more thunderstorms to come, but this is like the calm before the storm. It's now kind of sunny outside. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are. Today, well, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. Today's video is all about the continuation of the New York Auto Show, the Auto Show Series. Yes, Auto Show Series, Lost Episode Series, New York City Auto Show from 2019. You know the reason why we are doing these videos is yeah, because last year I went to the New York City Auto Show in 2019. I lost all the footage that I had. Turns out, COVID-19 pandemic, all auto shows are closed. New York City Auto Show is canceled. Auto shows in New Jersey are canceled until the end of July. And on top of that, I found my lost videos. I found the videos from the New York City Auto Show. So I just thought to myself, you know, there's no New York City Auto Show for 2020. It's been postponed until 2021. And because I never put these out on YouTube, I figured why not? Let's do the New York Auto Show for 2019 as part of my lost episodes auto show series. So here we go. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. This video is all about See the t-shirt? It's all about Corvettes. No, it's, it's all about Chevy and Ford. I'm wearing the Street Speed 717 Corvette C7 CR1. Yes, this is an epic car in rapid blue. Love this car, love this color. You know me, I'm a Mopar guy. And even though most of our videos are Mopar FCA focused, this video is gonna deviate from it. It's all about Ford and Chevy. So what's gonna be featured? Of course, we're gonna see the Corvette. We're gonna see the Camaro. Not much else going on in Chevy, but I'll show you a few more vehicles from Chevy. The biggest part of the show was Ford. Ford brought a lot of 2020 vehicles to the 2019 Auto Show. They brought the new Shelby GT500. It was the first time I'd ever seen the car in person. Got to see it there at the Auto Show last year. Also, all, a lot of 2020 SUVs. They had the new Explorer, the new Escape, a few more vehicles that they had were, that were 2020, they were at the show. And of course, the highlight for me, other than the GT500, was the Ford GT. That's on the show as well. Plus a host of other vehicles that you'll get to see in this video. Yes, this video is a little bit shorter because you know me, I'm an FCA guy, I'm a Mopar guy. I spend more time at Jeep, I spent more time at Dodge. Not that I didn't want to spend more time at Ford or Chevy, we just did it quicker. We didn't spend as much time and there weren't as many vehicles. So without further ado, I'm going to give you to the video. And then afterwards, we'll talk about it, my final thoughts. So I hope you enjoy this video and enjoy. Hi, everybody. This is Rao Holocat back at you again with another cool video. Today, we're in New York City. We're here at the Javits Center to see the New York City Auto Show. We're going to see everything that we want to see here tonight is going to be all the cars, not just Dodge and Jeep. We're, yeah, we're gonna see Dodge, we're gonna see Jeep, we're gonna see BMW, Genesis, Toyota, Nissan, Ford. What? Mercedes. Mercedes, thank you. We got Frank behind the camera today. So, hope you enjoy. We're also gonna see the Shelby GT500. We're gonna see all the cars today. We're gonna be doing it in little clips. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, without further ado, Frank's behind the camera, we're gonna get started, and. Hope you enjoy. Okay, boys and girls, this is it. New York City Auto Show. Okay, so we're now we're now in the Chevy section. Yeah, there seems to be more people here today uh, to take a look at the new Corvette. Well, I shouldn't say new Corvette, but it's definitely the, uh, the C7. Uh, looks like Grand Sport. Yep, it's Grand Sport. So, although you would think it's a brand new car, the only new car that is uh, that is the ZR1, but I'm not seeing the ZR1. So, we got a bet here, but I'm not seeing a ZR1. So, we're gonna keep looking and see if we can find one, but I'm not seeing one right away. Oh, here we go. This is the new uh, SS Camaro. And oh my God, how butt ugly does that front end look? 
It has got to be so but This is the dumbest thing right here. They put the, the badge there instead of right here. This is where they should have put it. Is there a camera inside the badge? Well, I don't know. But, but here's the thing. If you get the, the ZL1, the badge is in this, this area here. If you get the... Um, if you get the uh, the base Camaro, the Chevy badge is right here. But if you get the SS, it's there and it looks hideous. It just doesn't look good. Why did they do that? Chevy, that... Chevy, that's a damn good question. Why did you do that? It looks ugly. So, and this blue does not look as good as Indigo. Although I like blue on the Camaro, I just don't like this blue. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep walking around here. I guess this is like a virtual reality thing. But I'm not into that. So we, we have a vet. Now I know why. You didn't see much on Chevy with any of the reviews. Because Chevy didn't have anything new out. The only thing they had out was the ZR1, which was here last year. But it's not here today. So Chevy, we put an ugly SS. Oh man, this, this, we might actually spend less time here than uh, Nissan. The Malibu, boring, 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 boring. We gotta stop being a hater. I'm being too much of a hater, Frank. I gotta stop. But I'm not seeing anything cool. Chevy doesn't have anything cool this year. They have the cruise. I think they discontinued. I thought the cruise is gone. Why would you put the cruise in the show? When they discontinued it. Doesn't make any sense. Three minutes. That's all Chevy gets. Tahoe is nice. All right, we'll give you the Tahoe with red Brembos. Okay. Okay. Give me that. Right. Equinox. Four. Not impressed. All right. So we are done with Chevy. I take it back, Frank. They actually had the Z06 and the ZR1 here the whole time. Look, right here. Yeah. Oh, the Grand Sport and the Z06. They still don't have the ZR1. Where's the ZR1? Oh, they have the Blazer. Okay, is the Blazer here? Okay, we got the Blazer. Now, I know we said goodbye to Chevy, but this is the Blazer, and let me tell you. This is not like a, like like your grandfather's or father's blazer. This looks like a uh, an Equinox. <laughs> what are they doing? The Equinox looks just like the blazer. The blazer used to be a hot used to be used to be, but this is now nothing more than an Equinox. It's a little bit bigger and. Uh, People are still going to buy it. Obviously, people are looking at it. So. But that's okay. All right. The extra minute in Chevy. It's probably one minute too long. Here's your Equinox. Looks the same as the Blazer. And we're out. We're now in the Ford section. So this is the new GT. Ford GT. I almost said GT40, but you can't say GT40. But this is the new GT. I'm still kind of old school when it comes to the GT. I wish it had the V8 instead of the um, six-cylinder EcoBoost. But oh, look at those Brembos, dude. Orange. Those are well, orange, yes, but they're huge. Those are the biggest Brembos I've ever seen. I wonder if they're more than six pistons. Look huge. Yeah, this is the four GT. Still can't buy these in the showroom. You have something special orders. I mean, it's only if you're on the list. You have to get on the list. Yeah. All right. So this is the new Mustang. And I think this is just the base model. Yeah. So this is the base Mustang with the, the Eco Boost four cylinder. Four cylinders. But it does look cool. I mean, I give it that. It does look. Cool. What a badass looking car, but not a lot of power. You can get that Mustang. Or, ah, so now this is why you get a Mustang. This is the GT500. All right, so we're doing a walk around in the GT500. We cannot sit in it because it's locked. But look at these uh, carbon fiber wheels, red Brembos. Oh, 
Look at the carbon fiber side seals. The door's locked, can't get in. The only thing I don't get, this is a high performance car, why do you have a rotary dial shifter? I know you get the paddle shifters and I get that, but I need the, the stick to pull on. You need something to pull on, yeah, that's what she said. Nice Cobra badging. So far I haven't seen GT500 yet. Complete the walk around here. They, they, they did something different this year where the Shelby Cobra is right in the front, in the center, not off to the side like in previous years. Slip back away from the car a little bit, give you a better view of it. This is the first year of the GT500. Supercharged. Um, don't know the horsepower yet, but it's going to be 700 plus horsepower. My guess is going to be around 750, 755. But they still don't know yet what they want to say. Oh, those Brembo's look nice. Red. And again, the carbon fiber wheels look sharp. I'm still waiting to see where it says GT500. It doesn't say GT500 anywhere. Like, at least the GT350 said GT350, but I'm not seeing GT500 anywhere. Frank, do you see it? No. I'm seeing quad exhaust, and nice quad exhaust. That's the. Look at this Wang. I like the Wang. Yeah, that Wang looks good. Oh, yeah, love, love the Wang. That's what she said. Um, Shelby GT500. I don't think you're going to get much more if you get supercharged 5.2 liter versus 6.2 liter. 700 plus horsepower. They're not going to say how much, how much the exact horsepower is, and they're not going to give you the price. So that's all you're going to get. It's the only information right there. Take a snappy of that. Let me move out of the way so you have the lights in there. Okay, anything you see the Good, take a snapshot. And keep going. Sure. But I was surprised though, this is a GT500. But it is GT500. Oh, you got your Lego man. Now, this is also a Mustang that they say is the hot new car for 2020. And this is the 2.3 uh, liter EcoBoost four cylinder with performance, more performance wheels, side skirts, rear spoiler. I guess we can get closer to it, but this is actually a good walk around to a little bit, have a little bit of distance without many people in front of me. You can't sit in this car either. It is locked. You get your nostalgic uh, Mustang emblem on the side, like similar to the 1970 Mustang. Like I used to have. This is 2.3 liter high performance EcoBoost. This is a 2020 Mustang, 2.3 liter boost. And they say it's going to make uh, 350, no, I'm sorry, 330 horsepower at 350 pound feet of torque. So uh, it sounds like it's a quick package. I mean, 330 horsepower, that was what the GT was when it originally came out back in 2005. So, so it's got more horsepower than a 2005 GT. And it's supposed to be lighter, so from that point of view, it could be faster. <laughs> but yet to be uh, yet to be determined. It's got uh, 245, sorry, 265 40s, 19 inch wheels. It's a prototype, so it's going to be locked. It's got a stick shape. See, there you go. And I heard that the GT500 is not going to be available to stick. It's only available in the other band. So. I think there's a couple more Double Fords. Yeah, a couple more Fords over here. That's the car I was actually seeing is that they had it. So the, the new Escape, which I've already seen a lot of videos on. So this is the 2020 Escape. It sort of looks like a... Uh, oh, it looks like a Fusion. Oh, fair. It looks like a Fusion in the front. But... Uh, going to be the hot new uh, SUV for Ford. But I'm really looking forward to what the Bronco's going to look like. This is the Escape. And this is the 
There's another escape over here, so let's take a look at this one. I think this is the hybrid one over here, where they have a plug-in. So this is uh, another escape. Okay, it's a prototype. So Ford is doing all the prototypes in 2020. Not like it's hitting anything, which is okay. That's what they want. Again, this is the escape that looks like a fusion. Uh, what else we got over here? I guess this is another escape here. They're really going all out here. This is the stadium seating. So I guess it, when you want to see the, the, this is really cool. Okay, so now I feel like I'm in a, uh, a different world here, but you got your stadium seats here and uh, probably a pretty good presentation, but just the escape. So this is the new Explorer. Okay, so we got the new Explorer for 2020. Again, another prototype, you can't sit in it. Prototype. All right, I've seen videos on this as well. So we'll just do a quick walk around. We got your red painted calipers, but not Brembo's. See, Frank? More red painted calipers. That's why I want to be different than your yellow. All right, so this is the 2020 Explorer, so it does look different. Okay. Uh, this is the ST. This looks a little sporty. This is the kind Yeah, this is like a sporty edition of the Ford Explorer. And I guess they have also looking around. Okay, it's a prototype. Take a look inside. Can't get inside because it's locked. I would say it's sort of like the same size as your Durango. Yeah, I would say it's Durango in size, the, the, the Telluride, it's the Palisade, it's all those things, and it's big. On the, if, but if you break the law, you're in this police cruiser, which which ironically enough, we have the police cruiser over on the other, on the Dodge section. So this is the Ford Explorer Police Edition. You figure that the police cars nowadays are not cars anymore, they're SUVs. It's a hybrid, all-wheel drive. They even say police interceptor. It doesn't even say explorer, but we know that no, it is. We know what it is. And it's another prototype. It's a locked vehicle. You can't get in, Frank. And tinted windows. So it's, good. it's got tinted both. The, the sides are tinted and the, the windshield's tinted too. Which, if you put it on your car, the cops will get you. Oh, look at this. On the ST, it's got the nice uh, aquatic oh, exhaust. Okay. <laughs> it says police interceptor, but here it says explorer here. Now this, on the other hand, I believe this is the 2019 explorer. So they do have a current. No, oh, it's a prototype. So fold again. This is another 2020. This is prototype. Oh, I get. Oh, I know what this is. This is the cutout version. So this is the 2020 Explorer. They chopped the car. They chopped the car. Oh, this is with the hybrid. They said that this was supposed to be where this is where they put the batteries. Uh, so they put it in the uh, infrastructure of the car so it doesn't take up any uh, passenger space and cargo room. So it's the new battery technology. It's like right next to the train. They even cut away the rims. Suspension. Rear. It's different. Now this, this is American. No, this is the Explorer. This is the current Explorer. So this is the 2019. You can actually sit in this one. Yeah, have a seat. Try to hop in on the other side. But then I thought we all went out to that beer festival. Alright, well, take it. Oh, crushed. The torque tried to close on me. Alright, all right, so sit in this real quick. What, what's your first impression? Plastic, look at this. It's, it's very cheap inside. Got the, at least it got a shifter. Uh, 
train. Yeah, going this away. train stuff is uh, also non-existent. It's got one little analog gauge, and I guess this is all uh, LCD display. It's got a small LCD screen. This is the one thing I did notice on the uh, Durango as well. Something like really. No, really anti is awesome. I know, I want something absolutely brutal. Yeah. Metalhead, man. Dude, you're anti social. Alright, before we get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, explore. 46,935, even though it does have the 3.5 liter V6. I think the equipment should be a little bit better in a vehicle that's that expensive. But again, it's a big v SUV and uh, people are buying it. So, you get your expedition over there. Uh, you get the current four escapes over there. And you have a Ford Fusion, which makes no sense because they're discontinued. They yeah. discontinued the Ford Fusion. There's your Ford Edge, which if you're gonna get a Ford, I think the Ford Edge is pretty nice. It's a, a proven car, reliable car, and it's not too big. So this is very, so if we were gonna make comparisons, the Explorer's like a Durango and the Edge is more like the Grand Cherokee in size. That's so funny. Did you put on uh, anthrax? Yeah. You're funny. And you're, you're, and you're not antisocial. Uh, no. All right. We spent 14 minutes in the Ford section, which uh, is surprising for me. Uh, All right, Ford. Take it easy and uh, that's right. hit your around. All right. Go Ford Brown. Well, I hope you enjoyed the New York City Auto Show. Featuring Chevy and Ford. Yes, we got to see the Corvette. We got to see the, the Camaro. And yes, the Camaro, uh, thank God, the 2019 Camaro SS. It looks so bad. It looks so hideous where, the, where they put the bow tie. Oh my God. Thank God they fixed that for 2020. I guess they heard everybody say, my God, you didn't put that, you didn't put the bow tie there with a non-SS, like the base RS was in the right spot in the grill area. ZL1, 1LE. The, the, the badge, the, the bow tie was in the grill, not the bumper. Why the SS was on the bumper, I have no idea, but they fixed it. Chevy fixed it, so we're good to go. Plus, of course, we only saw the C7 Corvette. They didn't have the C8 yet. The C8 hadn't been launched yet. There was no C8 at the New York City Auto Show for 2019. I'm sure there would have been one there for 2020, but we're gonna have to wait until the 2021 show uh, before we can see a C8 Corvette at the Auto Show. Then, of course, Ford, didn't disappoint, love the GT500 in person. That car, the beast, that's probably one of the best looking Mustangs I've ever seen. But in fact, I used to have a couple of Mustangs. In fact, I had a few. I had a 70 Mustang, I had an 87 GT, and an 88 GT. So it wasn't always Mopar, I am now, but I had a few Mustangs, so yeah. I can definitely appreciate a Shelby GT500. I love that car. In fact, who knows? If, if the Hellcat, if I ever got rid of it, um, who knows? I'm going to definitely keep the track off, but if I ever got rid of the Hellcat, who knows? I might get a GT500 or GT350. You never know. I know a lot of YouTubers are doing that right now, so I'm not going to copycat. Right now, we're going to be very happy with the Hellcat for at least another year. At least another year. Also, oh my God, I, I don't want to digress, but I just got a huge box today for the Hellcat. I just got it today for the Hellcat. Not gonna tell you what it is. It's a huge mod for this thing. It's one of the biggest mods we're ever gonna do to this Hellcat. And yes, it's a lease vehicle, but I don't care. I gotta put it on, gotta do it. Gotta put this mod on, even if I have to take it off before I turn the car back in. So, I digress. So I hope you enjoyed Ford. Ford, what else Ford have, did Ford have? Ford had, uh, oh yeah, they had, they had a lot of cool SUVs. I mean, you had all the new 2020s, and that was the whole point. I mean, I didn't think, you'd want to see all 2019s 
seeing the 2020s at a 2019 show is pretty cool. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the auto show. Oh, and also the uh, the Mustang Eco Boost. Love the color of the car. Not sure if I would go a four cylinder on a Mustang, but uh, nonetheless, I mean, they did away with the six cylinder. So if you want to go other than a GT and you don't want the V8, you got to go EcoBoost this year. Um, maybe they'll bring the V6 back. We don't know, but right now it's either four cylinder EcoBoost, GT naturally aspirated, GT350 naturally aspirated V8s, or the epic GT500 with the supercharged. 760 horsepower supercharged V8. So, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, please hit the thumbs up button, put some comments in, share the video with everyone you know, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification, so this way, the more auto shows pop up, and of course, I still have a few more left to go. I actually have some really, really, really cool vehicles that are part of the auto show. We still haven't covered all the FCA product so there's going to be more fca uh parts of the auto show that we're going to be seeing maybe we'll maybe see you next week with the fca product so look forward to that but definitely hit the bell notification so when i post that video you'll be notified right away also once i do the big mod to the hellcat you don't want you don't want to miss that when i announce it when i put that on youtube and also anything that i also have when the track hall comes back we're also going to be doing some more cool things with that as well so definitely definitely hit subscribe and tap the bell notification. So without that said, I think we're done. So without further ado, this video is over. So hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Again, we're still in a COVID-19 pandemic uh, situation. So definitely be safe out there, be safe. Wash your hands, sanitize, face coverings, social distancing. Stay safe, we are reopening. Check this out. Look at the hair, look at the hair. If you noticed me from last, oh my God, I finally got a haircut yesterday. I got a haircut for the first time since February. Since February, it is now the end of June and I just got a haircut. Oh, it looks, looking, looking good, looking good. I look like a human being again. So yeah, I saw me with the long hair before and I was wearing a hat for the past couple of videos. The reason why is that I couldn't do with the hair anymore. So sorry, I digress. So again, COVID pandemic, be safe out there. Get your haircuts. New Jersey is now reopening. Restaurants are starting to reopen. Outdoors, of course, not inside. Uh, retail stores are opening. Curbside. We're in phase two, I believe, right now. We're in phase two. So we're in phase two. Car shows are still not open yet. Bowling alleys are still not open yet. Gyms are still not open yet. Amusement parks aren't open yet. But we're building. We're building. Hopefully, by the end of July, everything else will be open. We'll still be continuing to flatten that curve. I know that other states aren't flattening curve as much as others. New Jersey's doing an excellent job, but we had to stay safe. We had to stay indoors in order to do that. And I'm still able to put out some content. So without further ado, we're going to end this video. So again, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks again for watching. Oh my God, another milestone. I forgot to say this. 400 subscribers. We hit 400 subscribers. I am so excited. You Look at me, I am so excited we hit 400. I knew we were gonna do it right after I posted the Dodge video, and soon enough, no, no, within I, within a couple hours, not even, within an hour of me posting the Dodge video, I then exceeded 400 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all my current subscribers. Our next goal is gonna be 500 subscribers. We're gonna go to 500, 600, 700, all the way to 1,000. 1,000 is when Oh, this, this channel, I think, will really take off. I mean, I think we're doing well right now. We're only doing one video a week. I want to keep it at that. But once we hit a 1,000 subscribers, I want to increase the amount of videos that come out and definitely do more than one a week. But right now, we're doing one a week because all you can do is all you can do. So, again, thanks to all my current subscribers supporting the channel, and uh, thanks again for watching. So, I know I'm taking a little bit longer on this uh, final thoughts, but nonetheless, I'm very excited, very happy, and, uh, yeah, so... Without further ado, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. And you know how we end these things. We always do the peace out. So without further ado, we go peace, 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 peace. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Peace to all of you. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. Uh, I also want to thank Street Speed 717 for this great t-shirt and insane designs. This uh, was a great shirt to have for the New York City Auto Show with the Chevy theme. Next time we'll try to find a Mustang uh, Shelby GT500 shirt and I'll wear that next time. So without further ado, take care, enjoy the rest of your day.
Thanks again for watching. Peace.